have split their last four games after winning 12 in a row. That 12-game win streak stopped last Thursday night. Game seen here on TNT. Lakers winning in an overtime. Rondo stumbled, but able to keep that dribble alive. Shot clock is down to six. Rondo wide open. Well, Jason Kidd is going to roam around. If, if Rondo is over spotting up on the weak side of the floor, that shot is going to be there for him because Kidd is in a help defensive position. And Kidd is rejected by Perkins. Here comes Allen. Nice pass. Allen for Rondo. Nice secondary break there by the Celtics. Ray Allen probed into the middle right there. Howard. Rebounded by Garnett. If Josh Howard came down, he's holding that left wrist that he's had problems with. Rondo with a runner. He's got energy, so it might be up to Rondo in this first quarter to be that energy guy, sort of drag his team along with him. You've got three veteran players, Garnett, Pierce, and Allen, who played a lot of the game. You've seen Josh Howard posting. You'll see Antoine Wright, Jason Kidd. Try to run their uh, offense uh, inside out a little bit. Yes, Rick Carlisle telling us prior to the game, is our Garnett knocks down his first field goal, but... Here, player from University of Southern California has come on for Ray Allen. Good job by Wright, working on Pierce. Garnett, yes. He missed his first five shots. He's buried the last. Ray, some light pressure on Rondo, but drops back. Rondo at house in the backcourt with Pierce, Cole, and Big Baby Davis up front. Nice move by Rondo. And I think Rondo's thinking he can get by Barrera at any time he wants. He has the size, he has the quickness. Here's putting moves on Howard. Shot clock to three. Pierce coming up short. Rondo was on him. Here's House for three. Uh-oh. <laughs> when he makes one of those shots, he can get in those. They last eight on the road. Howard battling to work that shot off. Last road loss for the Celtics was at Cleveland as Pierce was able to finish. That was back January 9th. Uh, in Cleveland. Celtics looking for something to get excited about. That's what Doc Rivers just said to me. We got to get it done on the defensive end. He thought in the first half his team offensively, way too many isolations plays. He said we're not that type of a team. He'd like to see better ball movement. Swing the ball from side to side, guys. And uh, Doc seeing that ball movement right there on that sequence, finished off by Ray Allen. Well, Ray was one of the first guys out of the locker room early here to work on his mid-range jump shot right there. Pays dividends on the curl. 51-42, Mavericks. Garnett goes last. First look at their assists, look at their turnovers tonight. It's 13-13. That's not when they're playing good basketball. Rondo from deep. What's that 15 to 17 foot jump shot? If he can get that on a consistent basis. Ten points for Rondo. Yes, Tractor Toronto was part of that deal. Dirk 8 for 13. Now, beautiful play as uh, Rondo was able to spot Garnett. And Rajon Rondo is on his way to a, a triple-double. Ten points, eight assists, eight rebounds. Nowitzki. Thirteen-point lead. For Dallas, just under six remaining in the third. Marv Albert, Doug Collins, Reggie Miller, Carol Miller. We are in Dallas, Texas. Pierce with the bucket, and he was fouled. Dallas can't go to sleep here in this game because we know that the Boston. Oh. And Pierce did not look for the shot. Nowitzki just did get it off. The one thing you can't do against Boston is pass up open shots. Rondo. Rajon Rondo with a beautiful move, able to split through it. That wasn't even a reverse slot. Well, I thought he was going to use the right hand in reverse, but I think he tricked maybe even himself <laughs> by using the left. He fooled himself. Rondo. What a game for Rajon Rondo. That's 14 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists. They're going to this little outside screen run. Not able to hit, rebounded by Rondo, and this game has really picked up in the third quarter. And the, the Celtics have uh, been trailing by as many as, as 15. 
They did come within five a moment ago. Allen for three. That's a well-executed play. A little staggered screen. He comes off. Still out Dallas lead. Well, they're going to need him now because Dirk Nowitzki's resting, so he now becomes their offense on the floor. Rondo on Allen. In the backcourt, here is Allen for three. Yes. Right there. He tried to double-team Dirk come baseline side. Dirk saw him coming, threw it out to Carroll. Defense converged, wide open Barrera in the corner. Rondo switching hands. That is foul. So Rondo attacking the rim. Boston, Ray Allen. He's done most of his damage in the second half. Has 18, 17 for Paul Pierce. Right on Rondo. Not a great free throw shooter. He's shooting 63% on the season. And one of the things he talked about was getting to the free throw line more this year and being a better free throw shooter. That has not happened. But Rondo has already come up with his second career triple double. 15 points, 12 assists, and 11 rebounds. A five point Maverick lead. Novitsky. Good defense. Yeah, he bodied up and really forced him to fade on that shot. Here's Rondo. Teardrop. Little Tony Parker shot there, that little floater. No goal in over six minutes. Those defensive runs, that's what Doc Rivers talked about before the game to us. Boston by one. Two minutes, 20 seconds to play here in the fourth. Shot clock, down to three. Rocco from the perimeter. That's what Reggie wanted to see. He said, I want to see Finally. that jump shot. <laughs>